James Charles Drury, Jr., is an American actor, probably best known for his success in playing the title role in the 90-minute weekly Western television series The Virginian, broadcast on NBC from 1962 to 1971. Biography Drury was born in New York City, where his father James, Sr., was a New York University professor of marketing. He grew up in both New York and Oregon. Drury contracted polio at the age of 10. In 1959, Drury was cast as Harding, Jr. in the episode, Murder at the Mansion, of the David Janssen CBS crime drama Richard Diamond. Private Detective, John Hoyt played Harding, Sr., with Frank Ferguson as Captain, Hoyt. On May 9, 1959, early in his career, Drury appeared as Neil Adams in the episode Client Neil Adams of ABC's Western series Black Saddle. In the storyline, Adams is an old friend of series protagonist Clay Culliner, a gunfighter turned lawyer played by Peter Breck. Adams has robbed a bank of $8,000 and was subsequently shot in the back by a pursuing bounty hunter, played by Charles Aidman. Adams asks Culliner for help and makes the false claim that the bounty hunter is the brother of a man whom Adams had earlier killed in self-defense. From the start, Marshall Gibb Scott, played by Russell Johnson, doubts Adams' story and questions Cullen's judgment in the matter. In 1960, Drury appeared in different roles in two episodes, Fair Game and Vindication, of another ABC Western series, The Rebel, starring Nick Adams as a Confederate adventurer roaming through the post-Civil War American West. On November 16, 1960, Drury delivered a solid performance as young pioneer Justin Claiborne in the episode The Bleemere Story of NBC's Wagon Train, broadcast just days after the death of series lead Ward Bond. Robert Horton as the scout Flint McCulloch struggles to get a wagon train through a Sioux burial ground. Dan Duryea played the mentally unstable Samuel Bleemere who is obsessed by demons and superstitions. Bleemere also opposes the interest shown by Claiborne to his daughter, Belle, portrayed by Elin Willard. The episode is filmed mostly during heavy rains, high winds, and a cyclone. In 1960, Drury portrayed Joe Dahl in the episode Wall of Silence of the ABC Warner Brothers detective series Bourbon Street Beat, set in New Orleans and starring Andrew Duggan. He made a memorable guest appearance on the CBS drama series Perry Mason in 1961, as he played the role of musician and defendant Eddie King in The Case of the Missing Melody with Raymond Burr. Drury played in secondary roles for Walt Disney. In 1962, he was cast in a substantial role as a lascivious gold prospector in the early Sam Peck and Par Western ride The High Country opposite Randolph Scott and Joe McRae. In the same year, Drury landed the top-billed leading role of the ranch foreman on The Virginian, a lavish series which ran for nine seasons. The show was based on Owen Wister's classic novel and the various screen versions that had been filmed since. It has been rumored that Drury was possibly cast because of a vague resemblance to Gary Cooper, who had played the part in an early film version. Director Andrew J. Fennady stated that Drury was offered the lead role in the series because of his impressive performance in an unsuccessful television pilot The Yank, that was inspired by Nick Adams of The Rebel, on which Drury had guest-starred twice. In the series, as in the novel, the actual name of The Virginian is never revealed. Drury's co-stars on The Virginian included Lee J. Cobb, Doug McClure, Randy Boone, Roberta Shaw, Gary Clark, CLU Gulager, Diane Rota and toward the end of the run, Tim Matheson. The Virginian was one of the few 90-minute series on television in the 1960s. Its running time, plus the high number of episodes per season, created challenges with the shooting schedule. In a 2013 interview, James Drury recalled, The majority of episodes were shot in eight days. When we started out, they took about ten days. They decided they couldn't afford that much time because we aired the episodes every five days. 
To keep up with the airing schedule, we had to run multiple units as many as four or five different episodes filming at the same time. I would ride my horse or take the studio limousine back and forth between the sets to do my two-line piece in one episode, ten pages of dialogue in another episode, do a cattle drive in another episode, a wild horse drive in another, and then a gunfight and a robbery in yet another episode. I had to keep everything straight and it was absolutely no problem and a joy to do. I would do it all over again tomorrow. In 1993, Drury had a guest starring role as Captain Tom Price on the first three episodes of Walker, Texas Ranger, opposite Chuck Norris and Clarence Gilliard. Drury all also had a cameo role in the 2000 TV movie of The Virginian starring Bill Pullman. The film followed Worcester's novel more closely than had the television series. Drury appeared in a number of films and other television programs, including The Young Warriors and the TV cowboy reunion movie The Gambler Returns. The Luck of the Draw with Doug McClure, who played the character Trampis during The Virginian. In 1991, Drury was inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in Oklahoma City. In 1997 and 2003, he was a guest at the Western Film Fair in Charlotte, North Carolina. At the 2003 show, he was reunited with his Virginian co-stars Gary Clark, Randy Boone, and Roberta Shaw. Drury was in the oil and natural gas business in Houston at the turn of the 21st century. His son, Timothy Drury, is a keyboardist, guitarist and vocalist who has played with the rock groups The Eagles and White Snake. Drury was a close friend of the Houston marksman Joe Bowman, who trained numerous actors on how to use weapons. Drury is also the longtime best friend of both Robert Horton and Robert Fuller since 1954, where the three met while under contract at MGM Studios. Together, they attend the annual Festival of the West in Scottsdale, Arizona, among other Western festivals. He also was a longtime friend of James Best, an actor and acting coach eight years Drury's senior. He and Best met in 1965 on the set of The Virginian. Best died in April 2015. Filmography Blackboard Jungle Uncredited Love Me or Leave Me The Tender Trap Diane Uncredited The Last Wagon Forbidden Planet Love Me Tender Bernadine Good Day for a Hanging Toby Tyler as Jim Weaver, Pollyanna, Ten Who Dared, Third of a Man, Ride the High Country, The Young Warriors aka Eagle Warriors, Breakout TV Movie, The Devil and Miss Sarah TV Movie, The Gambler Returns, The Luck of the Draw, The Virginian TV Movie, Hell to Pay, Television Series, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Michael Grimes in, The Right Kind of House, Steve Canyon, twice his lieutenant Richard Muller, Gunsmoke, four times, The Rifleman, twice episode four, The Marshal, and episode 109, Death Trap, The Texan, episode, The Troubled Town, as Johnny Kayla, Cheyenne, episode, The Imposter, as Bill Magruder, Rawhide, episodes, Incident of the Night on the Town, as Ranson, Incident with an Executioner, as Kenley, the Virginian, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, twice, Firehouse, Walker, Texas Ranger, three episodes as Captain Tom Price, The Adventures of Briscoe County, Jr., twice as Ethan Emerson, alias Smith and Jones, Sheriff Lum Trevors, Sheriff Tankasley, Billy and the Bandit, Grandpa a descendant of the Virginian, Perry Mason, The Case of the Missing Melody 1961 He played the role of Eddie King.